Hello students, good afternoon and welcome to class today. First, I would like to welcome you to your final term and I believe that you enjoyed your exams and you are taking note of the places that you had it wrong so that next time you don't get it wrong again. Today we'll be looking at unit 10, page 35 and we are coming to study ordinal numbers and ordering okay so today we will look at what is an ordinal numbers so when we say an ordinal numbers it means we are saying numbers in position of a particular thing okay so let's say let's use your exams in an example in your exams somebody was first and someone was also second third up to the last person okay so assuming you were 25 in your class and the last person who had the least mark becomes the last person okay so in ordinal numbers it helps us to understand the position who is first who is second and who is third so this is the first five ordinal numbers we have the first second third fourth and fifth okay so if you are the number one it means you are the first if you are number two it means you are the second if you are number three it means you're on the third if you are number four it means you are on the fourth if you are number five it means you are the fifth person okay so let's say we have this list of items we have dog cat and house so because we wrote dog first before we write cat and mouse the dog becomes the first on the list here so dog is first cat is second and house becomes third okay so if we are to give it numbers we'll say dog is first the cat becomes second and the house becomes third so the position of these items will tell us which ordinal numbers they belong to so if you write this one first is first this is second and this is third okay now let's see this one pencil pen book and bag which one comes first pencil pen comes second and book comes third and bag comes as the fourth one okay so let's put the ordinal numbers on the top of them so we say pencil is the first pen is the second one book becomes our third and bag becomes four okay because bag and house are the last item on our list we can also see it is the last item okay so this is the last one and this is the last one too because our list ends here at house and our list ends here at back that means these are the last ones but their right ordinal numbers are third and fourth so this is the ordinal numbers for them fourth and third second and second first and first okay so now we have five items here so we're coming to put the ordinal numbers there so assuming we are asked to find what is the ordinal number for watch you have to count one two three four okay so because watch is in the fourth position the ordinal number becomes fourth shoe becomes first car becomes second and bike becomes third and watch becomes fourth and box becomes the last and the fifth one okay 
So anytime you are finding the position of your arrangement, you look you use ordinal numbers to locate the items. Which one comes first? Which comes once comes second? third and that of fourth okay so on this video we are looking at the first five ordinal numbers that we have in the second video we'll look at the other five ordinal numbers making 10 in total okay but before we go to our second video you have to do this tax so you're supposed to complete your exercise on pages 24 and that of 25. You can find this at the skills builder section. Okay, so do this to one, submit to me, let me check. And then we can go to video two. Okay, so I wait and then I'll see you on video two. Hello students, welcome to our second video. So on this video, we'll be looking at another set of ordinal numbers, okay? So the first one we did from one up to five. So this, we're going to look at six up to 10, how we can call these numbers or identify these ordinal numbers, okay? So this is the ordinal number table for this section. When the person is number six, it means the person is on the sixth position, okay? If the person is number seven, it means the person is the seventh position, okay? So seventh. If the person is on the eighth, number eight, it means he or she is on the eighth position, okay? So this is how we spell sixth, seven, eighth, Ninth, which means the person is on the ninth position. Ten, that means the person is on the tenth position. Okay, so this is the five addition to the first one that we learned. So, in this whole session, we have studied about ten ordinal numbers. We've started with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. If the person is on the Number one, it means the person is the first. If you are on number two, it means you're on second position, three, third position, four, fourth position, five, fifth position, six, sixth position, seven, seventh position, eight, eighth position, nine, ninth position, ten, tenth position, okay? So let's look at some example on how we can identify the position of certain items or certain words, okay? So the first one we have chair, table, ruler, pen, pencil, marker, and eraser, okay? The second one we have dog, cat, mouse, goat, sheep, chicken, duck, rabbit, pig, cow. So now we want to find out the position of marker. So what is the ordinal number for marker? Okay, so what we have to do is we have to count. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and this is six. Okay, so because this is on the number sixth, the ordinal number becomes sixth position. So the marker is on the sixth position. Okay. Now the second example we have dog, cat, mouse, goat, sheep, chicken, duck, rabbit, pig, and cow. Okay. So let's look for the position of sheep. So we start counting one, two, three, four. This is five, it's on number five. So the ordinal number becomes fifth position, okay? Okay, now if we want to look for cow, it means we'll continue five, six, seven, eight, this will be nine, 
So this is going to be 10. So the ordinal number is going to be on the 10th position. Okay, so this is how you can easily identify the ordinal numbers for any arrangement or ordering of items. It's so easy and you have to get it and don't forget about this one, okay? We will have our second tax on our lesson of ordinal numbers and ordering. So you are supposed to complete exercise on page 24 of the challenge book before we can move to our third video. So I will wait for your exercise to be ready and then we go to third video. So see you in our last video. Hello students, this is our final video on our lesson ordinal numbers and ordering, okay? So we know that ordinal numbers are used to show the position of items in a list and ordering means that you are arranging your items or your numbers in a particular way. So today we have studied about uh, 10 ordinal numbers. Those are the 10 first ordinal numbers that we have those are the first second up to the tenth position okay so i want you to remember your ordinal numbers always so that it can help you to answer any ordinal number questions okay so now this is from sixth up to the tenth one and whenever you have items you look at the arrangement of the items which one comes first which comes second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, as it continues, okay? So, know how to spell your ordinal numbers in words because these are the figures and these are the words. So, you have to know how to spell them in words so that anytime you have to use them, whether in words or in figures, it becomes so easy for you to uh, know them, okay? You have done well in your two exercises and we will complete having a homework for today. Make sure you do your homework so that you can score all the points that you have for your homework for your final term because this is a final term and you have to get your points. If you don't get your points in every aspect, homework, attendance, participation, it means that your scores are going to be low and you might fail. We don't want everybody, anybody to fail. So please be serious with every aspect, okay? So I'm going to post your homework for you so that you can complete them. It's going to be on ordinal numbers as we've done in the first and the second activity. Thank you for joining class today and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.